point you can definitely use your old slides but if you do not have these you can definitely purchase a cheap pair from these stores listed here buy below hobby lobby family dollar or if you want to order them offline because none of these stores have it sheen is a good option you just have to be patient and wait for the actual arrival because we know they take a little bit long but it's cheap disclaimer with five below they're definitely like probably the least store you'll be able to find them because everybody's going there so try some of the other stores if that doesn't work so for your yarn as you can see i have a lot i couldn't decide so i got a lot <laughs> But you can get them from Michaels. I got these from Michaels. You can also get them from Joann's or Walmart. I know these three stores have a wide variety of options for you to pick from. And it's also good for sales if you can find them because it'll save you some coin. All right, so for your adhesive, you can literally find this at any of the previously listed stores. You can also find this at Ace Hardware, Home Depot, or your local Lowe's. Any place that has like a craft section or items to help you build or construct any DIY projects. They'll always have this as well as the Gorilla Glue that you see a lot of other people using. So where you can get it all right so the last few items are common household items which is your rubbing alcohol scissors and a nail file if you have a shoe that has a shiny or smooth material you want to kind of rough it up a little bit and remove the shine so that way your yarn will actually adhere to the shoe So I start by taking my yarn and placing it down just to see how I want it to look and where I want it to go. Once I have it the way I want it, I apply the glue using a swab so that way it won't get on my fingers. And then I push down the yarn onto the glue to make sure that it's secure. Once I've done that, I feed the rest of the yarn through. This is how I'm making the fur insert. You can also use the fabric inserts, but I just wanted to use the yarn. So if you use the yarn, this is how you do it. You apply more glue, you just go piece by piece until that entire inside is filled. When applying your yarn, make sure that you're pushing down on it fairly hard to make sure that it actually sticks to the shoe and it's not just sitting lightly on top of the shoe. This is how it should look once you finish all of the pieces. I did the top half first and did the bottom half after. I think it was easier this way so that way everything wouldn't be sliding around. So once you're done with the inside, you're gonna work on the outside. I put a long piece of yarn around the base of the shoe, and then I worked in sections, taking the yarn in little squiggles and gluing it down to make my pattern. Later that same evening. So now I'm working on the mint colored shoe. I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing with the fur insert, then with the squiggle pattern on the outside. Yes, I chose to do two different color shoes. That's just my way of being unique. Probably someone else has already done it, but I did mine this way. I didn't want to do both of them matching. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think down below. All right, so two big tips. One, when you're cutting your yarn, it is gonna shed. So make sure when you're gluing it down, you're gluing down the end that you cut very well so that way it doesn't pull apart. Second, you can see I'm working with large bases of glue before I apply the yarn. Try to work in smaller sections just so your glue does not become tacky and make it hard for your yarn to stick. Lastly, be sure to let these sit 24 hours before you wear them so that way all the glue can dry and everything can be secure. Tomorrow. Yeah.